Wait. Bold statement. Yeah, what? I, kick, I have no preference in the love triangle. The, the kind <laughs> of golden boy that he is annoys me. Like the kind of like do-gooder golden boy. I'm not a Nick stan. I'll put it that Ooh. way. But not yet. I, that, there's that's, a lot to come, right? Oh, that's that a lot to come. My mind. Hello, welcome to episode three of Off Book with Simon Teen, and today we are discussing the Legendborn cycle. So Legendborn, okay. Bloodmarked, we might get into Oathbound a little bit. Yeah. Woo. Um, very excited to be here. And we have a special guest. We have Bezzy, our resident Legendborn cycle expert and a member of the Simon Teen marketing team as well. So welcome, Bezzy. So excited. So excited to be here and talk <laughs> about all things Legendborn cycle. As you all know, I have a lot to say always. <laughs> Number one. Number one fan. No debating. Very excited. (laughs) And I also want to point out that Bezzy and I dressed for the occasion. Oh, yes. Okay, we all dressed for the occasion. Sure, sure, sure. I struggled. I do not not own anything. This was not meant to be an Amy (laughs) call-out, but but (laughs) but we did a good job. I will call myself out that I do not own any purple or blue or red, any of the colors. So here we are. But I am on the blue couch Although Selena did call it out and say that this is not really an accurate blue either, but it's fine. Close We're trying. Yeah. yeah. Close enough. Emily so, and I are both wearing purple. I am wearing a shirt that says black and legendary. And so, so I feel like we really have. Yeah. We've, yes. we've won this. If this, this was a challenge, the room, we yeah. want it. Okay, but it's I'm not. Wearing, I'm wearing. Oh, right. Selena a is wearing a Legendborn cycle sticker, which will be and available soon to everybody. And, yes. Some of you may have already gotten it. It's yeah. very cute. Very exciting. <laughs> very exclusive. But preview. Who, yeah. Who gave you the sticker, though, Selena? Bezzy. Bezzy. <laughs> so, so in that case, in... it really did come back. To yeah. <laughs> yeah. It all comes back to that side. But okay. We're, we're, it's fine. We're all fine. Okay. It's a preview of how heated these a are. A preview yeah. of how heated. This is going to be a real heated discussion, guys. Yes. <laughs> yes. So before we get into our team discussion slash debate, wanted to give everyone a reminder of what has happened so far in the Legendborn cycle. So we're going to do a 60-second recap challenge. And again, this side of <laughs> this side of the room will take it. Emily is going to do a 60-second recap of Legendborn and Bezzy is going to do a sicky sicky a 60-second recap of Bloodmarked. Are let's, you ready? Let's do this. All right. <clears throat> Go for it. Legendborn in 60 seconds. <laughs> As a young student at UNC Chapel Hill, Bree witnesses a mysterious guy, Cell, fight off a demon with magic. When Cell tries to erase her memory, she realizes she's seen something like this before, the night her mom died. To find out the truth, Bree infiltrates a secret society of legendborn, descendants of King Arthur and his knights, with the help of Nick, the reluctant descendant of King Arthur himself. Nick and Bree grow closer, but things are getting dangerous with the Legendborn as demon attacks increase. Bree comes to an uneasy truce with Cell and discovers that her mother and now her have their own unique kind of magic. When Nick's dad reveals that he is the one letting in demons and trying to bring on a deadly foretold battle, Bree and the Legendborn rush to where Excalibur is hidden. But it's not Nick who pulls out the fabled sword. It's Bree. She's the descendant of King Arthur and now the leader of the legend born. Whoa. What? What? Someone should have timed that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was going to say, are we timing it? I did it? not I time it. it. Oh, I just, okay, good. But I, I really had to work to get mine in 60 seconds. So we're right, going to pretend we're gonna, <laughs> Maybe we'll time Bezzy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we'll put a timer up. We'll put a yeah. we'll, can oh we? Goodness. Can we do it? We'll, like, post, in post. It. Yeah, yeah. In post, y'all are going to have to get Thank you. We'll see how mine goes. Thank you, team. Yeah. I that have, was great. That I was done this great. in 60 seconds before, though. So. That's fair. I'm the Feeling one who has to prove – I have to prove myself here. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're the expert. Recap. Emily yeah. does have a no track pressure. record that she can get at 260 seconds, Thank but we'll you. see. I don't I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it in 60 <laughs> seconds, but we'll see. We'll try our best. All right. That was great. Thank you. Excellent work. You ready? Sure. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Bloodmarked recap. In the first few months after Legendborn, Brie is under watch because Nick is still missing and everyone knows she's Arthur's descendant. Training isn't helping her control Arthur's power and the regents come to administer the right of kings to get her situated. But they actually accuse Cell of treason to cover up Brie's ascension and drug and kidnap Brie in the middle of the right. 
they're never going to acknowledge Brie as Arthur's descendant because that means they'd have to acknowledge her enslaved ancestors. So Brie, Alice, Sel, and William go on the run to find Nick before the regents do. They meet one of my favorite characters, Valak, along the way, a half-demon crossroads child, and Brie and Sel start having some steamy moments, but he has been lying slash glamoring to hide it. Losing Nick is making him go full demon. They go to Volition, which is protected by Rootcraft, her family's and ancestral magic. But Arthur has been in Bree's head to try and teach her control. It turns out that him being in her head was actually him trying to take over her body. Nick and Cell, as Lancelot and Merlin, find Bree through dreamwalking and bring her back to herself. And Bree renounces her, arth- her oaths to Arthur and Vera. Yes, Vera too, because the last twist is that Vera, her ancestor, made a Bloodcraft oath to the Shadow King, a.k.a. Erebus, who is one of the regents, and he's here to collect Bree in return for sending Cell to his mom for help. Whoa. So much happens. I was going to say, this was the So much I know you are an expert at it, but I will say Bloodmarked recap has to be harder than Legend Mark recap. There's no way it's not. I mean, it's complicated. It's a bigger book. This is true. So much happens. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I did. I, did I think that was, that was really an excellent recap. recap. I'm yeah. sure the timer will tell us <laughs> whether it was 60 seconds, but did my best. We'll give you, we'll give you some leave because that is so much happens. Oh, wow. Gosh. To distill it down into a recap is, that's a challenge, but yes. amazing work. We've Thank done you, it. friends. So now we're all, we're all caught up, kind of yep. refreshed. Yes. On who, who everyone is, where everyone is. And now we'll get into the team debate. Yes. So, so exciting. This, we have come up with characters. We want to know which character from the Legendborn cycle everyone would want on their side in the following situations. So situation one is on a desert island. Situation two is in a zombie apocalypse. And situation three is as your plus one to a wedding. So we're going to kick it off with on a desert island. So... Emily, do you want to go first? Yeah. I would love to. Amazing. I am bringing William with me okay. on this deserted island. Um, he is resourceful, calm, healing, kind. Like, if I'm going to be trapped somewhere, he is my right-hand man. Mm. He's my guy, and we can finally become besties, which is all I've ever wanted. Yeah. Sure. He's not going to oh. start any nonsense, or, like, you won't be pitted. I feel like William is He'd an be a good person choice. to work with. Like, yes. he's, a, he's a good team diplomatic, member. yeah, good yeah. at, like, seating good authority partner. when you need to, yeah. taking authority when he has to, you know. He's yeah. a good yeah. give-and-take kind of person. Yes. Sure. That's All right. Fair. I'll say that's, that's a solid choice. Yeah. 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 Bezzy, who are you bringing? Yes. So I'm bringing Valak. As established, <laughs> I do love him. But also, I think that he has magic. He is also, as you said, for William, he is also resourceful. But he's True. resourceful in a different way. Like, he's had to sort of claw himself, pun perhaps unintended, <laughs> to, like, where he is. And so he's proven that he can make a lot of a little. Like, he's okay. just very, yes. very ingenious. And again, magic cannot be understated as a useful thing to have on a deserted on a des- island. Yeah. I figure there's all sorts of uses. Not not including getting us off the island, probably. Yeah. True. With magic. Oh, with gosh. magic. You think he'd be a little chaotic and just be like, oh, actually, this is like a nice little vacation. Honestly, <laughs> that might be fun for a little bit. And then at a certain point, the vibes have to change. Like, like you right. enjoy the island for a bit. Yeah. Enjoy the chaos. Maybe he, like, glamours up, like, uh, a little, like, hut for us to like enjoy (laughs) and like have a good time and then it's like okay we've been here long enough please he needs to go back to his business he has a business that he has to get back to so he's not going to want to stay there too long are are you willing to make a bargain with him to get off that island oh that's a good point that's a good Mm. point he might ask something he could just leave you there he could he could I would appeal to his sense of tenuous honor, and we'll okay. see how far that gets oh, okay. us. It's tenuous. Got a plan. Yeah, it tenuous. I, it's tenuous, but it worked for Bree. She got so, him. True. You know, he is chaotic, but he has a sense of of honor. Okay. Of his own honor. Yeah. So that. we can we can hope. Yeah. We can hope. Another that. excellent choice. <laughs> um, Selena. Yes. Who are you taking? Take my notes off. Too. <laughs> I will be taking Bree. Mm-hmm. she is determined when she sets her mind to something she's gonna do it true. no true. matter the obstacle sure. in her true, way true. Of course. True. and she definitely figure out a way off the island and through sheer determination really <laughs> mm. she'll yeah. make it happen yeah she'll just make it okay. happen okay 
Yeah. I believe she'd be determined. Yeah. I for wonder sure. if we she would, could make it. Yeah, I wonder if she, she would. I wonder what would what would the result be. But mm-hmm. I do believe she'd she'd move heaven and earth to try and get, get off out the of island. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She has a lot that she does has to get back to and does not want to be stuck. In this is island. very true yeah. for sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, my choice is not going to help me get off the island probably, but we will have a great <laughs> I'm glad time. You're off. <laughs> um, I have chosen Alice just because I feel like I want to hang out with her. And also, um, full disclosure, I did make my picks last. So <laughs> I, 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 I left it to the last minute, but Alice, I will not, I would, maybe I would have chosen her anyway. I feel like she'd be great to talk to. Yeah. She's also smart and resourceful. So I feel like we would be able to survive on the island. Don't know that we would get get out of that situation, but right. I feel like we'd have a good time. She'd and... be supportive. Yeah. yeah. She'd, She'd be very, very supportive. I feel like Truly. in some ways, William and Alice are very similar yeah. answers. Yeah. Like, they would be good people to be stuck on the island yes. with. Yes. And I feel like Valak and Bree are the people who want to get off the island. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. So. That, that is true. Yeah. But yeah, my pick, my pick is Alice. But I think we all have good yeah, justifications. Sure. Yeah. 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 Okay. This is not a debate so much as a... Everyone is... Because all the characters are so great. Yes. So yes, yes, yes. I love that. I just yeah. think it's funny that we ended up... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone's right. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Um, great. We'll Perfect. see about the next one, though. Okay. Zombie apocalypse. Who do you want on your side? Emily. I would love to kick this off. Cell is on my okay. side. Okay. I was um, mad that you chose Sal. Thank you. I I, in full Sal. disclosure, Emily did go first. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. So by she the got point, all of yeah. her first picks, it's yep. fine. It is actually did yeah. happen in this order. It was you and me, and then Selena. And yes, Amy. yes. Yeah. I yeah. literally wrote on mine. That's I was so like, Sal, because he's basically like Daryl Dixon. Okay. If like Daryl Dixon was really hot and like. Yeah. Well, that's the baby. Younger. Some people might think that. Some people Greenan. might think that. <laughs> I mean, I have no dog in this fight. Early Walking Dead. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, Cell's not letting me yeah. die. He's catching no, well, he's not sure. letting himself die, and hopefully by yeah. extension, that's even more well. chaotic. I will, I will say that's similar level of chaos to Valak, where it's like, yes. will he let me die? Possibly. Yeah. Will we appeal to his sense of honor? Also, yeah. could you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Hope and a dream. Will I kill him because I'm so annoyed with him? Mm. Also, uh, a very real possibility. Yeah. You also have to wonder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> If, like, in this zombie apocalypse, if the zombie bite affects a half demon. Oh, yeah. That's an excellent point. It could make mm-hmm. him worse. It could not affect him at all. <laughs> yes. Who knows? Yeah. Oh. I'd wow. Hopefully, we will never have to know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never find out that, yeah. that particular scenario. I, I yeah. would guess not. But, <laughs> but should I ask Tracy to write some fanfic? I was going to oh, say, yeah. during the apocalypse. apocalypse. Yeah, an AU. Yeah. We love an AU. Oh, I'll just write my own fanfic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, can, you can bring that together. You can tie it all yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm actually really, really interested to see how everyone would react. So it's like, and now I want the full fanfic of like a zombie apocalypse AU. What's everyone yes. doing? Yeah. Who's doing what? Well, yeah. yeah. Who's, who's surviving? Yeah. Who, who yeah. are you bringing? Oh, yes. I am bringing Brie for all oh. the reasons we've talked about for the desert island, but like she is good to have on your side in a fight. Yeah. She's scrappy when backed into a corner. You know, when, when the ish goes down in battle, she's gonna she's fight ready. it out. Yeah. yeah. True. I True. personally cannot fight. And so I personally will be standing behind her. Right. <laughs> you and got she this. can fight. Yeah. You right. Can, you can I'll hand it. her various things to use as weapons. You yeah. know, I feel like Love she that. support she'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I feel like zombie apocalypse. She's, she's my bet. I, I, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. I love yeah. that for sure. I'm taking William. Mm. I mean, He's a healer, must I say. Could oh, that's true. That's could he and he's a magical apocalypse? healer. Like, so, like, who knows? He could cure everyone. Yeah, He actually, could cure everyone. I'm holding the point. antidote. Are you saving the, the you're world? Sa- you're literally yeah. ending the apocalypse. The She's saving the world are, and we're, like, saving Yeah, the rest yes. of us are trying to survive and yeah. you're, like, no. thinking five steps ahead. Yeah. You're wanting to you're healer. Welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Cure us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just have to make sure he stays alive. Yeah. And then we'll have to make it to some type of governmental facility. So that's the thing is you have to fight for him that's the you're gonna have to like cover Ooh. him because he's not really a oh that he's might not be a an issue <laughs> yeah that yeah, might yeah, be yeah. an issue yeah. we might die we might die uh, like he's great but you gotta keep him alive long enough to be great you know and yeah that's, a, that's gonna i be will not survive a zombie <laughs> that's a tall order yeah yeah you and, you and william against the world <laughs> it'll i don't know well if i get bitten he can just you know 
Well, he has to come up exactly. with the cure. You gotta keep, stay alive long enough to come up with the cure. Oh, boy. I'm just poking yeah. your poem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm making this a debate. <laughs> poking, <no>. yeah. <laughs> no, uh, no, no. I th- it's still a great choice. I mean, obviously, yeah, he's he's the he's the yeah. winner. Yeah. Well, listen, we'll find lived. a group of fighters sure. to and join. Team up. Well, that's and why the, the, okay. Legendborn, the series, yes. is so great, because it's a bunch of fighters yes. and a healer yes. and Different magic skills. users. Yes. Yes. Teamwork balanced out. You know? Yes, yeah. we'll get a tank, we'll a get damage, we'll get a healer, <laughs> we got all the you, players There you go, we you're need. thinking in D&D terms, and I support yes. that. <laughs> and I support that. The plan's ready to go. Yes. All right, Amy. Yeah, I go. have a Valak. Yes. I feel like if we can be friends... He also has, like, it's, like, similar to set, like, he, there's an angle here that he could use some of his skills, magic, et cetera, um, to, to help. But who knows? Because he is chaotic, so I don't know. I don't know if that would work in my favor oh. or if he'd just run off and, like, do his own thing. Who's to say? But I feel like if we could be friends and or make some kind of bargain, it would be helpful to have him. Yeah. During the apocalypse, the zombie yeah. apocalypse, but I see, yeah, it. I see the vision. Yeah, I don't know. Love it. Yeah. All right, and the last one. Wedding, Wedding plus one. Who are you taking? I am bringing my girl Alice. I okay. The ultimate wing woman. Sure. We are going to have a good time. Yeah, you're gonna party hard. I yep. love that. You That's all I have to say. That's yeah. it. <laughs> and it, it, it's a great choice. That's Mike an excellent dropped. choice. Um, mine is William. I'm bringing William Ooh. for this one because I feel like he would be a little bit of arm candy, but he's yeah. also a peacemaker. You know, he's the person who like if, if I'm envisioning this like wedding is like extended family, right? Something where you're like, I don't really want to be there. Yeah. Like, you're like making an appearance. He's the one who can like mediate between all the different family dynamics he has diffused the situation you know yeah. but then Excellent. he looks good and so it's like yeah, yeah. a win-win yeah. yeah exactly that's that's my that is a good balance to who i am at weddings which is like i'm like okay i'll make an appearance and yeah then like, and then i get angry when i hear things and then i like have to restrain myself from and william will be like it's all right hands. yes yeah. everything is fine yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh. so really it's who i need as a plus one to the, <laughs> okay. to the wedding i just need someone to keep me keep me level keep me balanced love it all right, I William would do that. Yes. Yeah, and clean up good in a suit. I feel like that's important. Oh, true. Yeah, I feel like Alice sure. also really big plus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, dress or suit. Like, yeah. I feel like I know. Yeah. Would rock a suit. Anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We need. Yeah. yeah. I would bring Valak. That's fair. That's a chaotic very wedding. Chaos. Very interesting. Yes. And it's, that it's, is what I'm looking for. Okay. At this point, you want to sure. You want something yes. to get lively. Because I'm bored, right? Like sure. you said, this is an extended <laughs> family. Yeah. Like I don't really talk to them, so yeah. I'm just kind of oh there. Gosh. It's boring. No one's dancing. <laughs> it's not a no. I won't finish that sentence. <laughs> Keeping it YA. Keeping it YA. And I feel like Valak would just come in. And he would look at everyone and be like, ah, oh, yes, I have so many people to mess with. Oh. And, like, he'd be the type to, like, mess with the bridesmaids and, like, just, like, start <laughs> sure. people to start dancing. But would he just, like, will. leave you on your own? Are you just No, I'm there, like, entertained by him. By I'm oh, observing yeah, okay. him. You're egging him on. Okay. I'm egging him on. Wow. He's like, okay. oh, he goes. A truly chaotic choice. But wow. Last, he's charismatic. He's flirtatious. He's oh, going no, he's he's to he's he's cause some breakups. Hell? Yeah, gonna, like, he'll wow. be a hit, but, like, it's He's going to hit on the groom. The, the or men, the bride. The venue both might be on fire on by both. the time you're done, you know? Yes. But and if that's what you're ready a successful for, wedding. I love that for you. You'll sure. be run out of that event. I mean, but. memorable. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Successful, Very memorable. maybe. Memorable, yes. <laughs> memorable, yes. Sure. Sure, sure. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right, Amy. What a great choice. So yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't think anyone has said Nick for anything yet. <laughs> no, we haven't. Baby. That's so baby. So, I mean, he's like gone as, like, yeah, he's gone in book Yeah, we're going to discuss Nick's. We're going to discuss where he is, but. I am taking him as my plus one. Oh, okay. That would be so wholesome. And I quote, yeah. according to Cell, he is insufferably charming. <laughs> that's true. Which, what mm-hmm. do you, you would want that. At yeah. A no, no, no. That's true. You're sitting with a table, at a table with people you may not know. You want someone yeah. that'll talk to them for you. Yes. So I don't have to. And also, uh, it is funny that you were the only one to bring up Nick. <laughs> I do feel like Poor that Nick. checks out. Nick. Just hanging Aww. out. Is like, this where I mentioned that Nick... <gasps> oh, a wait. bold statement. Yeah, is what? this where I kick off our controversial Oh statements? my goodness. I have no I have no preference. I will caveat by this saying I have no preference in the love triangle. I think okay. we can go there there's much to be said for both and also there's much story to be told. And so yes. I have no ship yet, although I am a little bit rooting for Cell 
after the trauma okay. of blood marked. Well, for sure. Yeah. Blood but, marked. But was, yeah, was blood a marked was a, exactly yes. like it In was a direction. big moment for yeah. them. Right? I was very much Nick. And then Blood Mart happened. I, that like, which I think is the more common, <laughs> right? Like that makes yeah. sense. Because Sal was such a... Yeah, but oh, he I, was bad. Yeah. Was I, bad. Like, I, was, I, was, I was actively not Cell yes. for Legendborn. And now I am more <laughs> Cell. I am neutral Cell. Like okay. Legendborn, he was he was doing a lot. He was doing yeah. too much. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I will say the thing about Nick, I, I love everyone who loves Brie. So I'm team Brie. Yes. Start That's off, true. right? Always. Yes. Yes. So I love that Nick loves Brie. However, comma... I, the, the kind of golden boy that he is annoys me. Like, the kind of, like, do-gooder golden boy. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. I just, I can't. I, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a Nick stan. I'll put it that mm. way. But Which, not yet. I, that, there's that's, a lot to come, right? Oh, that can change my mind. Yeah. You know, who knows what'll happen if we find him. First, we gotta, first we gotta Where find him. Where is he? Nick. We've gotta find him. <laughs> Where's Waldo? Where's Nick? Literally. First, we gotta find him. Then give him a chance to change all our minds yeah. for redemption. I just, in, in Legendborn, right, he is the person who is introducing Brie slash us, the audience, mm. to the Legendborn. And there's so much inequity in the Legendborn yeah. that by extension for me, Nick becomes the face of it in a lot of ways, the yeah. face of that privilege yeah. and the society and the inequality that they are uh, meeting out and then of course it's his dad right it yes. ends up that it's his dad mm-hmm. who actually pushed all of it which yeah. i'm sure in this intervening time when he's been missing he's also had to wrestle with that yeah yeah so that's Absolutely. something i'm looking forward to is seeing how yes. he how deals he with I think he's a good guy i don't yeah. i think yeah, sure. yeah he he has to he's get a his... nice guy exactly I, I don't like a for no. i love a nice guy <laughs> I nice can't. guys do not finish last in my heart they finish first <laughs> nice can't. guys are so nice I need nice a little bit. I'm They're sweet. I need you to be going like... through something. I, and Nick, uh, that's well, the... Nick's going through something. Now, Just because you're nice now, mean no, you no, no. Now now he's going through something. But in the beginning, his world was very comfy. Well, his mother. Well, <laughs> okay. There we All go. Right. Besides All right. that, well, what do you mean besides, besides that? That's a big that, trauma. Oh, his no. his oh, dad no. is the. <laughs> His dad is the leader of the legend board. He's author Scion. Like he has this legacy like, to live up to. Daddy yeah. Issues. Well, he did, again, he didn't know that. Now, again, like now, now, now I yeah. think Nick has a lot more potential. He has enough trauma for you. Yeah. Wow. He's- I will say that. <laughs> I'm, listen. That's crazy. Trauma just adds a little bit something, especially when Bree's going through so much. Yeah. That was the thing yeah. is Bree kept trying to kind of explain to him the level to which and he, he didn't is. get it, and yeah. he was not. Again, like you know, as a as a black girl reading the story, I was like. This yeah. white man's not gonna get it. He mm. simply will not understand this. Yeah. Um, again, that's not a plus to sell. Like I'm not saying all no, this yeah. to say sell right. is better. Right. Yeah. But I think Nick now is Nick now is in a place where I think he might better come back and understand yeah. mm. a little more of what Bree's been saying since yeah. the beginning. Yeah. Because yes. I think he thought, oh, this doesn't affect me mm. until it did, and then yeah. he and immediately went missing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Time yeah. to reflect. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. Again, in yeah. this missing period of life. Where is he? What's what he has doing? he learned? Yeah, what yes. has he learned? <laughs> How has he changed and grown? We'll find out. We'll, we'll find out. Is he okay? Is I do want him to be. I don't okay. want him to like you... die. I just want him uh, to like get a little, get a little some perspective. dimension. Yeah, some yeah. perspective, a larger responsibility. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's fair. Yeah. To the legend born sure. to Bree. What are your thoughts on Thrupple? Uh, mm. I can go again. I would I, love I, that. I am true, putting I best of both worlds. Yes. I am again. I'm I'm TBD on all of it. I think I am a person who loves shipping things, but the series has really put me on Team Bree so firmly. For sure. And it's like, not a what, romance, yeah, or a yes. romantic scene yeah, at all. So I agree. I I, there is that. romance in it, but yes, I but don't. It's side plot, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. And I think Bree needs to figure out what she wants. For sure. And I think mm-hmm. I'm I'm open to all the possibilities here yeah. but i'm i'm curious to see if it ends up that way um yeah because that i don't think there's a lot of precedent for that in ya and i think no. if it did happen it would be exciting yeah it would yeah. be a lot to talk about certainly a yeah. lot to discuss but um yeah i think brie needs to figure out what she wants mm. and i think she doesn't know yet i think every time she starts figuring it out it's like stuff <laughs> happens yeah, yeah. the yeah. ground gets yanked she doesn't have time to like it's like oh i love nick Oh, actually, Hang I'm on. taking the role that he's prepared for his whole life, and yeah. he possibly could resent me, right? Which, ugh. That's the other thing, is, like, I think there is a version of the story where Nick resents Brie, because yeah. we kind of got the tease of that. But hasn't he been, like, maybe unwilling 
the entire time. Yeah, yeah really but then when it's like it's like when the thing gets taken from you, do you realize yeah. you want yeah. it? Yeah. You know what I mean? But I don't yeah. know. But maybe he's not. Maybe he's he's he yeah. has that growth. Yeah. Um. But then it's like Bree's like, oh, I love Nick, and then that gets pulled out from under, and then she's like, oh, maybe I start having feelings for Sal, and then now Sal is you know <laughs> going full demon, and yeah. so I think. I don't know. I think she's all over the place, and I think that's fair. Oathbound might be a good time for her to just, like, find herself. Chill. Love herself. Yeah. 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 Chill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Will she be able to chill? IDK. Because book yeah. one was Nick, <laughs> book two, Cell. Book three. Well, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about should that. Should we but talk about our? I think oh wait, no. Get into okay, it. are we gonna take? Okay. I think we should get into it. I just want to skip mm-hmm. ahead, but let's yeah. get into Oathbound. All right. So. Bezzy and I really looked at Oathbound, and I marked up. So the teaser. The teaser. The teaser in the- Nobody panic. This yeah. is not Oathbound yet. No. This is this a is teaser. Not, there there may eventually be a manuscript that we, we may eventually see, but it does <laughs> Before, not exist. Not right now. Yeah. It, so but. this is anything that you could read if you yes. have the paperback of Bloodmark. Yes. So we want to talk about where our, our gals are. <laughs> where our, Brie, Nick, and Sal crew. is. Our, our gals. Crew. Yeah. <laughs> so, Brie, yeah. The Alice. girls, gender inclusive. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> where we left them. And yes. Alice. Yes. yes. Okay. So Brie is off with the Shadow King. Mm-hmm. Erebus. She has been. Not yes. his true name. His We we technically, I guess, don't know We don't his know his demon name. name. We know he's been going by Erebus because yeah. he was posing as one of the regents. And yes. now he's the Shadow King. Yeah. So we have a lot of questions about that. Very much questions. Alice is in a coma. Gosh. Because Brie accidentally struck her. <laughs> oh, rip <God>. Alice. <laughs> uh, oh, she's don't she's, say rip. And she's, then she's, she's suffering. <laughs> yeah. she's li- I hope she rests in that coma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In that coma. Not she dies. deserves a break. Yeah, she, actually she does. She, she truly really needs a break. Uh, yeah. She not sign up to be in a, in a mortal battle. No. Uh, oh, poor she. Alice. And then we don't know where Nick is. Of course. He's, where's <laughs> Waldo? What's where's, new? Yeah. <laughs> what else? And I just need to point out that Bree's last words to Nick are, oh, please know that I. That she what? That she what? <laughs> so are we Are we going to talk about it? Are we going to talk about theories for what the what that might be? <sighs> what do you think, Buffy? Because my theory is that she is going to say some version of that she's sorry. Mm. Like, because... The state in which he finds her, right, in the dream walk, she has been ceded to Arthur's control. She's a dragon. She's feral, right? Um, And the choices that are made in that moment are the choices that now she realizes are going to separate her Mm. from him. So my theory is that's as she feels bad. Like, not necessarily and I love you, although it could be. It could be. It could be. It could be and I'm sorry and I love you, right? Mm -hmm. But I do think she's like, that mo- that scene escalates so quickly yeah. that yes. she's like, oh, I have to make these like rapid fire decisions. Of, yeah. Like, yes. I have to come back to myself. I have to take control of my body. I have to now fight, possibly fight, but then she realizes negotiate with the Shadow King. Yeah. So there's a lot. There's a lot happening. I feel like it's an I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I do like that she gets defensive when the Shadow King asks. Yeah. What were those last yeah. words? Like yeah. what? What were you saying? And she says, "None of your business." <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's right? Not. Yeah. yeah. One but, thing Bree's always is she's always sassy. Yeah. yeah. She always has a little sassy response. Sense. I love that for her. Yeah. Yeah. I um, need, but I need to have a better response. You know, <laughs> yeah. like I'm like I need to learn some of her comebacks. She's crazy. Yeah. Yes, every comeback so yeah. strong. Um, but then I do love this. If Nicholas Davis had touched you, he would not have let you go. Oh yes, and that comes up again, right? In the Oathbound oh, teaser. Boy. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick is not about to let. So like, there is not... no doubt in anyone's mind that Nick is in love with Brie. Yes, hundred percent. Sure. Right. Yep. That's that's never can fault the man for that. Yeah, yeah. We love. Yeah. He loves her yeah. girl. Meanwhile, Babe Sal. <laughs> Oof. Woo! He's also going through it. Having yeah. a real rough time of it. <laughs> His last words to Brie are, "What have you done?" Ooh. Mm-hmm. Like he's, he's pissed. Yeah. What a rough place to be in. Yeah. And then the Shadow King is taunting her, and he, he's Ugh. being like, who is Nick going to go after? You or Sal? Yeah. Yeah. Again, that, like... Who, like, who do we think Nick's going to go after? Yeah. That's a good question. Ugh. I don't know. That is so, a tough one. I think <laughs> Sal. So. is, like, done. Yeah. He's going. So. He's going to get Sal. Yeah. I mean, Which I there think Bree would prefer of that. that. There's more history yeah. And there, I feel like obviously. Nick might know Bree might prefer that. Oh, and he also would prefer yeah. it. Like Interesting. He, Cell is also someone super important to him, and Bree might be out of his reach, so it might so, be better 
for his ah. efforts to go to sell if he can make a difference. I will say mm-hmm. the other thing is do do Nick and crew because at this point hopefully Nick is either almost to the crew right the rest of everybody mm-hmm. or like in a situation where he will soon be with them right do does anyone else know where Bree sent Cell? Does anyone know? Oh, because that's the I I I believe you that Nick would want to go to Cell. But does Nick Can even he? know where Cell yeah. is? I feel like we would tell Alice, but she's in a coma. She's in a coma. Oh, she's in a coma. <laughs> so I we're in trouble. Think, I think there were a lot of decisions made very rapid fire, like mm-hmm. I said, at the end yeah. of the book. I don't think Bree really looped anyone else in. Mm-hmm. William sure. might know the extent to which, obviously, oh, actually, I think I, we know William does know that Cell's glamour is failing, that mm. he is, you know, yeah. becoming full demon. I don't know. If, William maybe is the only person who might connect the dots that oh. Cell is with his mother. Because Bree sent him there, but that's gonna take a lot of. He's gotta have. He's gonna have to work through that logic yeah. to get there. Because yeah. Bree told nobody yeah, before she, not be she disappeared. Ugh. So in some ways, Nick, but yeah, to, there's a lot of like yeah. work through. He's not gonna domino yeah. effects here. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. I feel like Nick might end up going. Like he might want to go after Bree simply because he knows. He saw what was happening with that. He yeah. does not know the extent to which. But then sure, again, yeah. maybe someone in the order knows where Cell's mom is, and so if they figure it out, yeah, it might be easier for Nick mm-hmm. to get to Cell True. because that open secret of the the line of Morgane. Yeah. Yes. Oh gosh. So many things to piece together. Yeah. yeah. And then so we also much. get new characters. Yes, oh we do. yeah. And the Oathbound in the teaser. Oathbound teaser, we've Very got the excited. twins. Listen, I already know <laughs> for all of the reasons I love Valak, I'm gonna love the twins. They're insane. They seem wild. wild. They're insane. They're demon twins, right? They're they're doing their own thing. They have no sense. I we are not getting a sense that there is a, a moral code here, right? right? No. Like Valak, however, comma the chaos is very exciting. Chaos. Yeah, Selena's yeah. like what? But I also, read the yet. <laughs> Selena, <laughs> Selena has not I'm yet. Like, I can't wait. Teaser. Do you People, feel teased? <laughs> oh, I am teased. Yeah. <laughs> you love <laughs> chaos too, you as we know. So more yes. chaos is more chaos for a you. Great thing. I love that. Oathbound starts off strong, right? Bree is is reeling. Bree is now in the situation. Erebus is okay. This is perhaps for the listeners slash viewers um, because I don't know if you guys have watched this show that I'm about to reference, but the C the CW had a show. Actually, no, Sci Fi had a show called The Magicians. Oh, um, yeah, that's based off that's based books? off Lev Grossman's book. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, and in the, the show version, though specifically, the Beast is played by Charles Mesher, who is this um very dashing <laughs> older actor. <laughs> and in my mind, that's the fan cast for. Uh, Erebus, the Ooh. Shadow King, only okay. because, um, again, this is a very specific reference, and I will include as little spoilers as possible if y'all guys want to watch the show, but <laughs> there is an, uh, the finale of season one of The Magicians um, has a character having to make a similar kind of choice, as Brie has to make at the end of Bloodmarked, um, and ally themselves, I'm using, again, not to spoil who it is, but ally themselves with the Beast, who is the antagonist, mm-hmm. up to that point. Um, and go with them and learn from them. And so in my mind, I'm seeing Brie with Erebus, uh, with the Shadow King, as this, like, moment where she now has to be the reluctant protege to a evil, a morally, you know, morally bad, but, like, yeah. possibly ancient and in, in wisdom, right? Like, character that she might learn something from, okay. right? So that's what I think. It's a tenuous situation, but I think Brie has something to learn here. Yes, yeah, um, absolutely. She has some stuff that she's got to figure out, um, and she might have to, you know, yeah. listen a bit closer to the Shadow King. Oh, I can't yeah. wait to see who yes. is actively trying to, you know, undermine yeah. her. <laughs> yeah, but but what will what will come of this? Yeah, I'm well, do you feel tantalized, Selena? Do you I'm feel so like tantalized. Ready? I just <laughs> wish I had the book. So, well, don't worry. We have them. You've got, you've got <laughs> but teaser. everyone else, there is no lack of your... books for, yeah. for Selena here. But if you want to read it, listeners and viewers, yeah. you have to get Go the get your paperback, paperback. paperback. And then Oathbound is coming soon. Soon. We're, we're getting there. Yes. It is, it's yeah. coming. We know it's coming spring 2025. Yeah, spring 2025. So it's the, the countdown t- is on. The countdown, yeah. It's, yeah. it's almost a, a year. It's going to be a year soon. Yeah. Um, that year countdown on. will begin. So, can't yeah. wait. Can't wait. It's oh going to be gosh. great. Well, I think that's probably all the time we have, but this has been an awesome discussion. And so excited for everyone to get... The, I want everyone to read the Oathbound teaser because 
there's a lot to unpack and can't wait and everyone tune in for our next episode which is going to be another won't reveal it yet but it's going to be another fandom theme kind of episode we're going to do another one that i think everyone will enjoy but yeah very excited thank you bezzy for being here and chatting with us about all things legendborn and brie and bloodmarked and oathbound this was so fun i'm <laughs> always happy to get a platform to talk about all my legendborn feelings <laughs> yes because anywhere yeah. anyone will listen to me <laughs> <laughs> there are there are so many but amazing all right bye everyone bye <laughs> <laughs>